Hello and welcome to the new On The Mic With Mike show, a show dedicated to helping today's small business owners become tomorrow's big business owners through direct business exposure. After all, what difference does it make if you have a great company, great products, or great services if only a small number of people know that you exist? The bottom line and formula for our show is very simple. More ears equals more business. My name is Michael McCollum, also known as the Small Biz Doctor, and I have been in the small business development industry for over 20 years. As a business coach, Chamber of Commerce consultant, host of three small business radio shows, and author of the Small Biz Doctor monthly article in Array Magazine. Before we begin, I think it's important to provide you some information about the small business industry in the United States. Did you know that there are close to 23 million small businesses today with over 500,000 new businesses opening every month? However, the problem is, is that there are over 500,000 small businesses that close every month as well. Top two reasons, lack of management skills and capital. Both are critical business killers because a lot of owners have convinced themselves that knowing how to manage a business would automatically come with their decision to open one. Or they feel that all they have to do is have great products or services and their customers will come from the moon, the stars, and the ocean to come to their business. Let me convince you, please listen, that this is wrong. Listen to our show every week and we'll give you some valuable information. Hey, this is Mike, the Small Biz Doctor. If you would like to know how you could be interviewed on my show, please give me a call at 910-863-1797. That's 910-863-1797. Because after all, it's time for you and your company to be heard. Small business owners, do you want to know if you, your management and staff are on the same page and saying the same things to your customers or clients? After 20 years of small business coaching, I created a program called Employee Same Page Analysis that has either left business owners shocked, embarrassed, angry, or happy with the results. However, just so you know, only five companies scored over 50%. Give me a call today at 910-863-1797 to schedule your analysis because incorrect information can be destroying your business. Hey, this is Dana Spanky, social media director for SBO Radio, and you're listening to On the Mic with Mike, the small biz doctor on ESPN Radio. Hey, and welcome to the On the Mic with Mike show with Mike McCullum, the small biz doctor. And we are here today to give you some information about two companies that are doing very well in the transport information industry, or I should say the delivery information industry. So without further ado, we have two people. We have Mr. Josh Petrillo, and he is the customer relations executive with Metro Transport Group. How are you, Josh? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I can't complain, man. How was the drive down? Not too bad. Not too bad. It was about 450 miles, but traffic was good. Hey, you're in the delivery industry, man. That's 450 miles is like 20 miles for you, huh? Yeah, that's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have Mr. My man, Demetrius Brown. He is with American Dream Leasing and Finance. And how are you, dude? How you doing? <laughs> okay. All right. What we want to do today is give some information about the delivery information about the industry. Also have these two guys give you information as to possibly how you can uh, join one of their teams to also be uh, in the delivery um, field as well. So without further ado, we're going to be right back. Stay with us. This is Mike McCullum on the On the Mic with Mike show with, again, Demetrius Brown with American Dream Leasing and Financing. And we also have Mr. Josh Petrillo. He's the customer relations executive for Metro Transport Group. Stay with us. Hi, this is Abby Ortiz. I'm the owner of A1 Supply, and you are listening to On the Mic with Mike, the small business doctor on ESPN Radio. 
This is Stuart Walters, a business counselor with Seed, and you are listening to On the Mic with Mike, the small business doctor on ESPN Radio. Did you know that over 60% of small businesses are subject to legal actions taken against owners and their companies? If you would like to protect your business by having direct access to one of the best law firms in North Carolina for only $39 per month, or entire family protection for only $19.95 per month, visit www.taplegalapp.com. That's www.taplegalapp.com to protect yourself and your business today. And we are back from break. Again, this is Mike McCullum, the small biz doctor on On the Mic with Mike on ESPN Radio. And today we have, again, the two gentlemen that I was just discussing with you. They're both in the delivery industry uh, or the transport industry, whichever one you category you want to put it under, uh, is Demetrius Brown. Again, he's the owner of American Dream Leasing and Financing. And we also have Mr. Josh Petrillo. And he is with Metro Transport Group. Uh, Josh, give me a little information about you. Um, one of the things that uh, the listeners always want to know, they want a little information about who they're listening to. So give a little background on you. What is the actual name of your company and how did it start? All right. So the company name is Metro Transport Group. Um, my dad actually founded the company uh, right at 25 years ago. Um, it's kind of a nothing to an established business story. Um, he was actually very poor. They were homeless growing up. Uh, he got into the transport business again 25 years ago, working out of the back of a station wagon and moved up to a panel van. And now we're a full-blown, you know, trucking company. We do it all. Back of a, of a, of a station wagon, huh? So that's one of those old school stories, huh? Yeah, he was... Uh, From nothing to something kind of stories, huh? Yeah, again, he was homeless uh, growing up. Uh, him and his... Uh, there was eight of them. They lived in the back of a station wagon. So, uh, you know, one thing he's always instilled in everybody that works for him is hard work and uh so the business has really uh grown uh and you're doing well from there huh doing well where where are you guys located josh we're in athens tennessee athens Um, tennessee small town but it's between knoxville and chattanooga tennessee okay give a little information about you uh give some information about the company give me a little information about josh give you a little information about your background where you went to school all that good stuff you got dogs cats rats what you got at home well uh i am married i got three kids uh now you know you're on tv you got to give your kids name if they don't yeah they all exactly. at you when you um, go home <laughs> lily is 11 caleb is five and we actually me and my wife just took custody of a newborn oh. and she's uh madeline she's six months old just turned six months old two days ago oh okay so this is a family-owned business you're saying it is okay um, again my dad found it about 25 years ago and what i've done for the company was uh, since I got out of high school, I started driving, and I learned the ropes from driving from the driver's perspective. And I drove for a um, little under seven years. Oh, okay. And from there, I went into dispatch. And uh, and then I actually started doing some uh, accounting and even some recruiting and driver safety stuff. And then went from there, and I started taking over the cargo van and sprinter van division. And uh, just about three years ago, we only had five vans on with us. And now wow. we've grown it up to um, about 60. Well, five to 60? Yeah, in about three, three and a half years. Oh, man, that's some serious growth right there. That's well, some definitely serious growth right there. And, and again, people like Demetrius um, with American Dream has been uh, amazing for our company. Uh, we actually went away from the fleet owner uh, kind of model, um, but we always kept him on because he's been fantastic. Now, give me a little information. What services does the actual the, the Metro Group what services do they offer their, their their target market? So our target market is places like GM, Ford, uh, Johnson Controls. We do a lot of business for companies like that. Anything in the automotive industry, and really in the industry now, uh, we, we cut our teeth on Expedite. And now we do anything from, you know, small cargo van loads up to full tractor uh, trailer truck loads. Um, okay. So whether it's Expedite or even an LTL, we can handle it. Now you say Expedite. Give us a little information on Expedite. Uh, Expedite Hotshot is basically a company needs something ASAP. Um, so they'll give us a call, and we normally only have like a 30-minute window to get something picked up. Uh, so they pick it up right there in Athens, Tennessee, or really anywhere in the country. 
and we'll uh, deliver it direct to any state in the United States. And wow. uh, so you're going coast to coast then? We do co- coast to coast. Okay. Is there a kind of a time frame on these that you, you, you usually go through? Is they say if a person says within well, I can get anything delivered in a week, you know, I get let me deliver it in two weeks. Is you we, have that kind of we deliver normally deliver next day. Wow. Um, sometimes same day. Uh, we don't the truck doesn't stop moving until it's delivered. That's how we handle expedite. Okay. Well, in the industry with the uh, with with all the different small businesses out there, considering there's 30 million small businesses out there, and a lot of companies are doing work. Why is um, Metro or Expedite, why are those two companies important in the industry today? Well, again, um, we handle a lot of time-critical stuff. Um, so when a plant gets is shutting down like GM, uh, like Ford, you know, a lot of times they need parts ASAP or their line is going to shut down and cost them hundreds of thousands of dollars. So that's where we step in. They call us up and say, hey, you know, we, we they might need a hot shot from Laredo going to Ohio, and we'll – have guys in Laredo and they'll pick up and go straight to Ohio and that way it keeps the facility running and moving and again we also do a lot of just regular deliveries where we do have a few days to drop off but we also treat those like expedites and we make sure they deliver on time or before time. Well tell me that who who is your target market then because in, in any, any industry they have a actual target market that they go over and you know, kind of a market to and advertise to who who would that be for you? Uh Primarily the automotive industry. Okay. So is that do you del- deliver anything else like you know, furniture or anything high end? We don't deliver furniture. Um, it, it's primarily as automotive. We do deliver some, you know, like glass and some other things like that. But it's mostly the automotive, uh, the automotive industry that you deliver for. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Well, give me this. What's a uh, web address for you? So if people want to get some information about um, either Metro or Expedite, how, how can they find the information? They can go to www.metrotransportgroup.com. Okay. And that will cover both of them for you? Yes, sir. That will okay. cover everything. Now, how long have your, um, the company been in business? Right at 25 years, going on 26 now. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, wait, were you even around then when Dad opened up everything? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, w- I was. I was a small child, um, and he actually he initially got into the business when he we were living in Florida. He was actually dropping off in South Carolina, and uh, that's where everything kind of changed for him. He was struck by a vehicle, um, and. Uh, we, we actually started traveling around the country for about a year there. Okay. And uh, we landed in Athens, and he decided that he was going to start his own company. Now, are you the only sibling that's running the industry with, with, with Dad as well, or is it, are you have other brothers and sisters that's working with you as well? I do have other brothers and sisters working with me. There's actually eight children in wow. my family. Yeah. Are they all with, the, with, with, with your company? Uh, we have four of them with the company right now. Oh, okay. I oh, know. Well, that makes Dad a little happy then. You got the family members involved with it. Yep. Yep, and uh, one of the other family members you'll probably hear about is Sam, who started off recruiting. And uh, just want to thank him for his service. He's actually in the Navy, and he's out. He's out right now. So, well, you get you know you get a lot of family businesses that start, and some of the kids want to get under. They want to follow mom and dad and follow the, the you know the family business. But you get some that want to venture off on their own and do their own things. What made yeah. you want to stay with the organization and, and grow the family business? Well, just seeing the direction it was going. Um, again, all the hard work, uh, you know, old saying, blood, sweat, and tears that went into it that made me want to be a part of it. Um, it really is something special. And, you know, just the growth we've had over the last, you know, five, six years have been uh, nothing short of amazing. It's definitely been a blessing from God. Well, one of the things you were talking about, you said, yeah, it's growing the business is one thing, but uh, when we were off air, we were talking about a little bit about how it, the, the, the pleasure comes in in helping other people develop as well. Give, give us a little information about that. So the, the number one thing that we like to see as a company, that my dad likes to see, that I like to see, that even Demetrius likes to see, we like to see people succeed. Um, we offer a program where you can actually buy a truck from us and you can become an owner operator Um, Hmm. so instead of you working for a company for 20 years and you walk away with nothing you know you can come in finance the truck through us we do have financing available as well Uh, buy a truck and actually become an owner operator that way in four to five years you own your own truck um, you know which would obviously give you a pay raise and give you a bump that way you become your own boss 
Okay. And they can still deliver um, products and, and things from you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Again, uh, you know, you can buy a truck from me. We give you financing and everything that you need, and then you can come actually drive for Metro Transport Group and make a career out of it. Oh, okay. That sounds good. All right. This is On the Mic with Mike with Mike McCullum on ESPN. Uh, we have again today Mr. Demetrius Brown with ADLF, which is American Dream Leasing and Financing. And we also have Miss Joss Petrillo, which is from Metro Transport Group. And the is it Expedite Group as well is what it's called? Uh, it's just Metro Transport Group now. Uh, it was Metro Expedite, and we actually, because we're full circle now, we actually changed it to Metro Transport Group. Oh, okay. So the group is not, okay, so it's not Expedite anymore. It's with um, 100% under Transport Metro Group under that umbrella. Yes, sir. Okay, that sounds good. Stay with us. We have some more information, and we're going to be bringing in Mr. Demetrius Brown to give you all the information on how he got connected uh, with the Metro Transport Group, what his company actually does, and we have the information when we come back. This is Mike McCullum on, on the Mike with Mike on ESPN Radio. Stay with us. Small business owners, do you want to know if you, your management, and staff are on the same page in saying the same things to your customers or clients? After 20 years of small business coaching, I created a program called Employee Same Page Analysis that has either left business owners shocked, embarrassed, angry, or happy with the results. However, just so you know, only five companies scored over 50%. Give me a call today at 910-863-1797 to schedule your analysis because incorrect information can be destroying your business. Hi, my name is Alan Porter. I'm the owner of Strategic Well Strategies. I write financial articles for Array Magazine, and you are listening to On the Mic with Mike on ESPN Radio. Did you know that over 60% of small businesses are subject to legal actions taken against owners and their companies? If you would like to protect your business by having direct access to one of the best law firms in North Carolina for only $39 per month or entire family protection for only $19.95 per month, visit www.taplegalapp.com. That's www.taplegalapp.com to protect yourself and your business today. This is John Jansen from The Cage. You can hear me weekdays from 5 to 6 here on Sports Radio 100.1 WFAY. Right now, you are listening to On the Mic with Mike, the small biz doctor on ESPN Radio. And we're back. This is Mike McCullum on the Mic with Mike. Uh, ESPN Radio, and we again we have Mr. Demetrius Brown with the ADLF and Mr. Josh Petrillo, and he's with Metro Transport Group. Now, Josh, one of the things I want to ask you: How does your company actually advertise to the market? How do you get your information out there to the market? Well, um, there, there's a few different websites that we advertise through. Um, we we're actually pretty blessed that we're pretty established after being 25 years um so we have a lot of big accounts like through gm uh, oh, so what you're trying to say you don't have to put a whole lot of money into your advertising and marketing budget is that what, like like the rest of the folks out here no 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 trust me <laughs> we put lots of money in advertising uh, okay. especially trying to recruit drivers and uh, get quality people but um it was actually a, a huge blessing this past year we were re- rewarded from gm being a top five carrier for them Oh, great. Um, for the, uh, last year. Oh, congratulations on that, man. Thank you. How is the, uh, I know social media is real big now. How has the social media market actually helped your company, or has it at all? Um, social media hasn't played a huge role in our company. Um, Demetrius um, is more of a uh, social media guru. Okay, he's a social <laughs> media man, huh? Yeah. All right, so we're going to put him under the spotlight when we yeah. get him on the microphone in a minute here. Now, it, I know there's other transport groups out there. What makes uh, Metro Transport Group different than all the other transport groups out there? What gives you that extra flair? Well, um, everybody always talks about, from a driver perspective, just being a number. Um, you know, you're just a number to a dispatcher, you're just a number to an owner, and they don't know who you are. That's completely different with us. Everybody has a name. We know everybody. We're deeply invested in our company, so we treat our employees right. Again, we like seeing people succeed and not just be, you know, just working their whole lives without 
ever we want we want owner operators that's what we want so you don't get that you just getting the delivery from truck two one three two one three you're getting the actual name and a person who's coming along with the truck huh right again okay. when when uh, Demetrius calls they know who's calling they know it's Demetrius Brown okay now as a business coach and, and I've been doing this for 20 years one of the things that I say uh, all the time is one of the the best and the worst employees of a company can be the owner elaborate a little bit on that if you will well again i agree that the worst employee can actually be an owner of a company um it's all about finding your employees strengths and weaknesses so find out their strengths and uh and, and their weaknesses because that's important too and then you know you can guide them in the right direction um you know we, we've had we've had a few different employees over the years that you know maybe didn't seem that strong at first and now they're amazing at what they do uh, i know you were talking about one we're not going to put his name out there so no, no, put no, his no. name out there but how did that you, you said that you, you had a, a situation such as this when a person was just trying to do too much give us give us give us a little hint about that yeah so we, we had a guy that was trying to probably do a little too much um and i kind of told him to focus on just two things um and then from those two things he actually became the best in the whole company at those two things and then now he does it all, and he's invaluable. He's one of the best employees we have. Hmm. See, that's good. So everybody listening, always pay attention to what the boss is saying <laughs> and what people are saying around you. Sometimes it can be uh, really, really advantageous to you and being educational as well. Now, in, in, in going through your company, everybody has the ability to look back. They look back five years, 10 years, 15 years. If you had the chance to, 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 to kind of reconstruct or do things a little different in your company, I, I know, and this is not major because if your company is lasting for 25 and all the years it's been doing and, doing and been prosperous, obviously it's doing something well. But if you had to go back to and say, hey, I, w I, I like to do one thing differently, what would that one thing be? Um, it took us a little while to actually get into regular truckload work. Um, that was actually the reason why we changed our name from Metro Expedite to Metro Transport Group to kind of let people know that, hey, we are a full-service company. We have a 120,000-square-foot warehouse at our facility, um, so we can do cross-docking. Um, and, again, besides Expedite, we can do full truckload work, all your day-to-day -day needs. Um, we can do local deliveries, LTLs. Again, we're kind of a full circle company with the Metro Transport Group. Okay. Give us that um, web address again, and I want you to give an email and a phone number for somebody to be able to reach you just in case they have some information or additional questions they have for you. How can they reach you, and what's the website? Uh, the website is www.metrotransportgroup.com. Uh, you can uh, email me personally at Josh, excuse me, it's J Patrillo at metroexpedite.com. Okay. And what's the phone number for you, they can, just in case they want to call you? 423-745-8100. That's our main number. Okay. Anything new coming up um, next year or this year for the company? Any new services or any bright ideas that the company is coming up with? Uh, the one thing we are trying to push a little bit is our warehousing this uh, upcoming year. Okay. And just kind of let everybody know that, you know, hey, if you need warehousing, if you need a cross dock, um, we can handle all those needs. You handle it and get it out there. Okay. Yes, sir. That is Mr. Josh Petrillo. He is the customer relations executive for Metro Transport Group, and they are located down in, T in Tennessee, Athens, Tennessee. Uh, he gave you information. If you want to get in contact with him to potentially – uh, maybe have your products delivered by them. Uh, he would be the actual the person to give in contact with. Now, in addition to that, we have the man, the myth, the legend. Ah, he <laughs> put him on the spot already. Yeah. And it, just for everybody to know, yeah. he, Mr. Mr. Brown does not like the microphone. <laughs> he, he tries to act like he's shy sometimes, but he's nearly not. Get him on the phone, talk about business, and he'll tell you everything you need to know. Uh, Mr. Brown, give us the name of your company as well, sir. Uh, American Dream Leasing and Finance. Okay. Now, where is um, where are you located? In High Point, North Carolina. Okay. Now, what actually what services do you offer up there? Well, we do vehicle. We started out as um, as vehicle leasing and financing, where we are a direct lender, and we also got three banks um, that provide a lending as well. Um, my mentor, um, uh, he got me into this. Um, into this area, you know, I, I grew up, well, uh, I like cars, so, you know, cars always been my thing, and, you know, trucking is my background. Uh, 
through Brown Transportation, which you know started in uh, '99. Started out as an employee through um, as an owner operator. Actually, well, actually employee, and then I went to owner operator, then went to fleet owner, and um, you know I got into the vehicle leasing in in 2012 officially, um, and then you know from that point, you know um, started getting the local local routes from carrier, uh, you know, for different carriers with uh, with cargo vans and, you know, just started putting my logos on the side of the door as an advertisement mm-hmm. uh, gimmick. And, um, you know, I took a break from the big trucks. Uh, when I say a break, a couple of months where, uh, you know, because in-home delivery furniture was my background. You know, we still do that to this day. Okay. Yeah. So and Josh, so, Josh concentrates a little bit more on the on the automotive, and uh, you still you still doing you doing the automotive and the and the furniture as well. Yeah, but you know, our main focus now with the volume we got, we're moving toward expediting because you know that's that's all about American dream expediting. Mm-hmm. You know, and so so basically, um, I went to all these you know different companies. And uh, I was actually, you know, I went to the class and sat in every class, every orientation, and uh, put vans on with different companies. And it, like where I, where I actually did the, you know, I was the driver myself. And um, you know, I just was blessed and just landed with uh, with Metro. Uh, just found a, a ad in the Craigslist and uh, called up. Uh, kind of too good to be true because you know I just once I got in with them. I noticed it, you know, I like the hands-on, one-on-one relationship when you call in. They, you know, like Josh said, they they know who you are. It's not like a number. Mm-hmm. And so, um, so it's more that they, you got more of that family feel when you contacted them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just a big corporation. We're a family, a family event, a family affair, yeah. as they said. Yeah, and you know, they was just as big as the other outfits, or or if not bigger, you know. Mm-hmm. And it was just, uh, I don't know, it was just a good relationship. Uh, it's trustworthy, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it just, it's you just hard to loyal. You yeah. get that, that level yeah. of loyalty when you talk to them. Yes, yeah. definitely. You get that people, in, and, oh, yeah. and that's the same thing people have to understand when they deal with businesses. It's crucial, it's critical for the business owners and their employees to have that warmth, you know, when people call in. You, you don't want to get that push off, like, almost like you, you're, you're bothering us. What is it do you want? You know, we're busy here. What do you want? Uh, it, it doesn't make any sense. So that, that, that family feel that it gives you really, really, really makes a difference. Now, Demetrius, what's your, what's your web address so people want to get in there and, and kind of get some information about your company, ADLF? How can they find you? Uh, it's www.adlfinc.com. INC.com. Okay. Now, in that, you said your target market is people who are just moving. Uh, is it more the small business owner, or is it, save a person who's moving, you know, their, their, their furniture from their house to another house? Can they, are those people contact you as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, we, but we mainly target in home delivery work, you know, where we deliver new furniture, you know. Okay. And uh, so it's more from the factory or the, or the, or the, or the, no, or the warehouse? Home. For, yeah, from the home furnishing show place to actually their house. Okay. And um, and that's on the Brown Transport side. But, you know, on the American Dream side, it's the, it's 100% automotive delivery. And, uh, and and also vehicle leasing where we, you know, we have, you know, just like Josh mentioned earlier, we help individuals uh, receive a residual income. Uh, you know, we got people in corporate America, business owners, you know, who will come to us and get vehicle financing. We find the driver. We find, um, you know, we do all the upfits to the van. We um, keep the vehicle service at our service shop, and you know, we run their we run their van for them through through the company. And, you know, they receive a residual every. You know, they get a check every Friday. Uh, it's like a part time job, basically that they you know that they don't work for. <laughs> that, that they don't work for, and, yeah. and trust me, I'm one of them. So I joined up with uh, yeah. with the ADLF group too. I heard about it. Um, through uh, another another source and got in contact with Demetrius and talked to him a little bit about the info and he made it really simple. Uh, it was like a no-brainer to actually come on and join on to a service and it's been doing very well so far, that's for sure. Um, this again, this is On the Mic with Mike with the small biz doctor, Mike McCullum. We're on ESPN Radio and again, we have Mr. Demetrius Brown who is the owner of ADLF and we also have Josh Petrillo uh, and he's with 
the Metro uh, Transportation Group, where he's a customer relations executive. And they give me information about their two different companies. Now, when we come back, we're going to have information as to how they join hands to do business together. Again, on the mic with Mike on ESPN Radio. Stay with us. Hello, business owners. Have you ever thought about how successful business owners like Oprah Winfrey, Steve Jobs, Michael Jordan, Warren Buffett, and more made it? What were some of the things they went through and still came out on top? Listen to my show every Tuesday from 6 to 7 p.m. and you will be able to hear directly from them. So have a pen, paper, and an open mind to grow your business. Hey, hey, this is Carrie Soveri with Up and Coming Weekly, and you are listening to On the Mic with Mike with Mike McCollum, the small biz doctor on ESPN Radio. Hey, this is Mike, the small biz doctor. If you would like to know how you could be interviewed on my show, please give me a call at 910-863-1797. That's 910-863-1797. Because after all, it's time for you and your company to be heard. This is Wayne Smalls, president of L. Wayne Smalls and Associates, LLC. And you are listening to On the Mic with Mike, the small biz doctor on ESPN Radio. And we are back with On the Mic with Mike, with Mike, the the small biz doctor, Mike McCullum. And again, the two people we have in our office is Mr. Oh, great say, call you Mr. Metro Transport Group. I guess that is you, Mr. <laughs> Metro Transport yes, Group. Yes, sir. When they see you out. This is Josh Petrillo, the customer relations executive for them, and also the owner of ADLF, which is American Dream Leasing Financing, which is Mr. Demetrius Brown. And they're giving information about the delivery industry. How they met is what we want to know. Now, Demetrius, tell me the story. How did you come across and meet Mr. Petrillo? Well, um, so like how I much said, how much time do I have? Huh? Yeah, I'll make it short. So <laughs> right. basically, you know, we, um, you know, like I said, I went to a lot of orientations, and uh, I actually uh, got the ad off off of a local Craigslist and called in, spoke to uh, uh, Sam, which is his brother, uh, at the time. I mean, at that time, he was on you know recruiting, and uh, I had a driver who couldn't get on with other companies. Because he had a criminal history, it wasn't bad, mm-hmm. but you know, good guy, man. So I had to find something for him, and you know, Metro gave me a chance with him, and he did real good. And um, you know, that was with one van, and then we went with a couple of couple of more vans that that I purchased, and uh, it's just like them one or two, they added up real quickly. And before you knew it, you know, it was to where it is today. And um, you know, I still got vans with other companies, but I don't. I don't join forces with anybody else. You know, I'm 100% with Metro now, you know, because, you know, I just love the relationship and, uh, you know, it's I, I'm always thinking, I'm always a believer. If it's working well, keep it. If Hell it's yeah, working well, keep yeah. it. So a lot of times we jump ship and try to go find no. something that's greener no. on the other side and turn out to be as completely <laughs> dark on the other yeah. side when we get there. Yeah. Now, how do, you, um, how do you advertise ADLF? How do you get the information out there to the public to know about your company? Uh a lot of social media, you know, of course, marketing. Uh, we logo every van, and, you know, uh, and every uh, tractor. So pretty much on the east, east of the Mississippi River, you know, there's a truck going through in every state with that. Mm. Uh, ADLFinc.com across the windshield or on the bumper or on the side of a van or a truck or on the side of a luxury vehicle. So, you know, when people see it, they, they inquire, they take pictures and uh, – but it's, but it's a lot of word of mouth as well, and um, you know we just been blessed, man. You know, just and to get it going. I mean, and once it's rolling, it get, it does good. Now, yeah. what direction would you like to see ADLF in the coming years? Would you see them going into a different market or just growing your 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 fleet of trucks? What exactly? What's the growth you see? Well, I mean, the growth is unlimited for us with with the vans. You know, uh, you know, of course, I want to get more vans. Uh, out there um uh, only time will tell on that one and um you know as far as expedite i mean far as um of course you know, i want 
more um, dealerships, you know, to um, you know, to to, um, to consider us as additional um, a funding source for the clients. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we got a home furnishing division. We do corporate housing. Uh, you know, we do um, consignments where people uh, are bring us their cars, and you know, we try to get more money for a customer's car than what a dealership would provide for them. And you know, we can provide the financing. We do. We deal with a lot of athletes, uh, a lot of uh, high-profile clients, and you know, that's what I try to target as far as in the vehicle mm -hmm. um, arena. Uh, you know, just try to. Our perception is, you know, we. It's a lifestyle, basically. It's a, it's, you know, it's a lifestyle that that we're selling the American dream. Okay. And uh, and I, and I always wanted to be about the company, never about no individual. You know, exactly. that's why I'm never on social media, my face or nothing like that. So, because <laughs> it ain't about me. It's about the brand. You know, it's about the brand and getting yeah. the company out there. Now, what it, it, I know, they have a lot of different things. Now, what what was the one thing that actually drew you to it? Even though after you talked to Sam or you talked to Josh. What was the thing that said, hey, the light bulb went off your head and said, you know what, this is where I need to dedicate all my time and effort in building this kind of company. Why did you choose that market, the, the delivery market? Was it just talking to Sam or talking to Josh at the time frame and getting information, or you already knew a little bit and did a little research on the industry? Well, man, I was, oh, I was already in, in trucking. I didn't know anything really about expediting. You know, uh, my idea of expediting was a customer needed to get it there the next day, but it never was like this was a new feel for me, but after just being so uh, comfortable with Sam, um, it was like a year. I was talking to Josh on the telephone, and after a year, I was like, you know what, man, it's time for me to drive up there <laughs> because I'm never going to be in a business where I don't, I'm not hands on where they don't know me. Right. So I took a drive up, man, and me and Josh would always talk on the phone every morning, and uh, it just one of the relationships that clicked, and uh, it's you know, clicking moving forward, huh? Yeah. So you okay. Know, we, we talk now and give each other ideas and, you know. Well, to both of you, you I mean, we see uh, a lot more trucks. I mean, we see the CDL. We see a lot more delivery trucks out there, uh, trucks and trucks and trucks and trucks. Is it is the industry growing a little bit? I mean, because you see a lot more on the freeway than you did before. How? But at the same time, you've seen a lot more of the smaller, those tall vans, you know, not necessarily the big, long, you know, the, 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 the um the what do you call those truck the, the big the major truck the 18 wheelers you've seen a lot more delivery vans why do you think it's going more towards that and not just the big trucks um again i think a lot of it just comes down to customer needs uh you know a lot of big trucking companies you know they'll pick up a load and like you talked about earlier you know you might get it in three days it might be a week um small vans you know in particular concentrate on expedite mm, okay so, you know, it, again, if, if you have a 600-mile trip, um, we're trying to knock that out in under 12 hours. Hmm. So we get it there. Wow. I guess with the big trucks, those big 18-wheelers, you're right. So if, they, if they're not full, they have to go to one place and go to another place and get more stuff in there to make it economical for them to actually do a delivery. So I guess the smaller ones will make more sense on that one. Right. Well, all, all of our trucks, we have them exclusive to our customers. Mm -hmm. um, we don't ever stack any freight. No matter if we have half a truck empty or not, all that freight is going there nonstop. Okay. Well, D Demetrius, do me a favor. Give everyone your email address and the phone number they can reach out to you if they want to, if they're interested in, you know, maybe coming on and joining your company or uh, actually utilizing your services. How can they reach you? Uh, info at adlfinc.com. Uh, the phone number is 704-365-3376. Uh, we also have a 1-800 number, 888-510-7222. Okay. So what do we see? Where do we see? Uh, are we going to see the ADLF and the Metro Group in, in two get two years from now, five years from now? How big are you guys going to be? Go on. Who, who, whoever want to beat their chest and be Tarzan and say, hey, we're going to have 500 <laughs> trucks. We're going to be <laughs> multi-billionaires. Go ahead. Take the stance. All right, Josh. Go ahead. All right. So <laughs> Demetrius pointed at you to go ahead. So go ahead. Right now in total, we have about 120 vehicles in our fleet. Um, we're adding almost daily, especially with the tractors. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, in a year or two, I would definitely like to see us uh, double that, uh, if not more. And how well has Mr. Uh, ADLF been helping you out there with his with the, with his company and recruiting? It's it's been uh, really amazing to work with somebody like Demetrius. Uh, 
again, like he said, we just kind of clicked. Uh, and now we, we honestly, I probably talked to him more than my wife. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a great relationship. Uh, yeah. again, he, he came on with just a few and he's up to, I believe it's 28 now. Wow. Included mine. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> Included you know, I mine. Got, um, I think I got probably eight. We got a total of right about 45. I got nine in front of the shop now, actually. Wow. Just waiting for opportunity, you know. But um, the other ones are with other different carriers. But um, but no more with any other company. I mean, you know, I'm just. Just gonna, the, 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 whole, the whole range of it. Okay, yeah. I got you. All right, let us do this again. Let's give Josh, give them a phone number that the people can contact with you, if, just in case someone wants to get in contact with you. You can call the main office number at 423 423- Seven four five eight one zero zero, or you can contact me directly on my cell phone number. I don't care to give that out. Four two three 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 seven seven zero five. Oh, we're special. Josh is giving you his cell phone number. I don't know. D going to give you a cell phone number. <laughs> D say, yeah. people, me people calling him. Yeah. Uh, do the same thing if you will, Josh. What kind of uh, office number can they reach you? Uh, again, you can call the main office number at four two three seven four five eight one zero zero. Okay. What about you, Mr. Brown? Uh, 704-365-3376 or 888-510-7222. Okay. So right now you guys are looking for additional truck owners or truck drivers. Which one are you looking for? Or both? We are looking for both. Okay. So if you got a truck out there and you've been thinking about that and thinking about getting into an industry that's, uh, that's growing, you have two gentlemen here that can pretty much guide you through all the different steps get in contact with them if you have a if you already have a truck if you just want to be a driver and get out there and do it uh now one question i have how often are the drivers out there are they on the road two two weeks a month a week a month two three weeks a month how often are you usually out there um average driver goes out two weeks at a time um they pretty much set their own schedule but however you know just keep in mind the longer you're out there the more money you can make so um so the average driver goes out a couple of weeks at a time you know and back where you're saying about who we're looking for drivers or owners you know like we got individuals that come in credit might be might not be the best at that particular time but we work directly with nissan uh out of charlotte um scott clark nissan uh with the general manager and also the fleet owner mm-hmm. and you know we have individuals get in their own vehicles and you know they're they're their own boss so you know we help them in, you know, in a couple of different ways. You know, we help them get the financing, get the work, and uh, you know, stuff that other companies probably wouldn't help them with. You know, and just live on their own with that. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I mean, this is a good show. So, y- y- anybody out there, again, if you are looking to, if you've been wanting or to have that desire to get into the trucking industry, to either own your own truck and make some deliveries. Or you just want to be a driver. You don't want to be the owner. You want to be a driver. Uh, we have two individuals here that can help you out and give you the information for it. Again, this is On the Mic with Mike with Mike McCullum, the small biz doctor on ESPN Radio. Stay around with us. We have a little more information for you. Stay with us. Small business owners, do you want to know if you, your management, and staff are on the same page and saying the same things to your customers or clients? After 20 years of small business coaching, I created a program called Employee Same Page Analysis that has either left business owners shocked, embarrassed, angry, or happy with the results. However, just so you know, only five companies scored over 50%. Give me a call today at 910-863-1797 to schedule your analysis because incorrect information can be destroying your business. This is Mayor Chris Ray, Executive Director of Cumberland Health Net, and you're listening to On the Mic with Mike, the small biz doctor on ESPN Radio. Hey, this is Dana Spanky, Social Media Director for SBO Radio, and you're listening to On the Mic with Mike, the small biz doctor on ESPN Radio. Teach me how to study. 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 Teach me how to study.
teach me how to study. Okay, small business owners, it's time for the Small Biz Doctor Study and Learn portion of my show. As I said before, my hope and goal is to force you to become a better business owner than you were yesterday by providing business information, tips, and resources so that we all can learn. So without further ado, here we go. The three decisions that will change your financial life. There's nothing worse than a rich person who's chronically angry or unhappy. There's really no excuse for it, yet we see this phenomenon every day. It results from an unbalanced life with too much expectation and not enough appreciation for what's there. Without gratitude and appreciation for what you already have, you'll never know true fulfillment. But how do you cultivate balance in life? Virtually every moment, people make three key decisions that dictate the quality of their lives. If you make these decisions unconsciously, you'll end up like the majority of people who tend to be out of shape physically, exhausted emotionally, and often financially stressed. But if you make these decisions consciously, you can literally change the course of your life today. Decision one, carefully choose what you focus on. At every moment, millions of things compete for your attention. You can focus on things that are happening right here and now, what you want to create in the future, or on the past. What you focus on, and your pattern for doing so, shapes your entire life. If you examine your habitual thoughts, what do you tend to spend most of your time dwelling on? Rather than focusing on what you don't have, and begrudging those who are better off than you, Acknowledge that you have much to be grateful for. Be grateful for your health, family, friends, opportunities, and mind. Developing a habit of appreciating what you have can create a new level of emotional well-being and wealth. Do you take time to deeply feel grateful with your mind, body, heart, and soul? That's where the joy, happiness, and fulfillment are found. Secondly, do you tend to focus more on what you can control or what you can't? If you focus on what you can't control, you'll have more stress in life. Decision two, figure out what does this all mean? Ultimately, how you feel about your life has nothing to do with the events in it. The quality of your life is controlled by the meaning you give these things. You may be unaware of the effects of your unconscious mind assigning meaning to life's events. When something happens that disrupts your life, do you tend to think that this is the end or the beginning? If someone confronts you, is that person insulting you, coaching you, or truly caring for you? Your life takes on whatever meaning you give it. When people shift their habitual focus and meanings, there's no limit on what life can become. A change of focus and a shift in meaning can literally alter someone's biochemistry in minutes. So, take control, and always remember, meaning equals emotion, and emotion equals life. Find an empowering meaning in any event, and wealth in its deepest sense will be yours today. Decision three, what will you do? The actions you take are powerfully shaped by the emotional state you're in. If you're angry, you're going to behave quite differently than if you're feeling playful or outrageous. If you want to shape your actions, change what you focus on and shift the meaning to be something more empowering. People tend to model their behavior from those they respect, enjoy, and love. You may find yourself falling back into patterns you witnessed over and over again in your youth and were displeased by. It's very useful for you to become aware of your patterns when you're frustrated, angry, sad, or feeling lonely. You can't change your patterns if you're not aware of them. Now that you're aware of the power of these three decisions, start looking at the role models who are experiencing what you want out of life. It's not rocket science. If you become aware of the differences in how people approach these three decisions, you'll have a pathway to help you create a permanent positive change in any area of life. Hey, this is Mike, the Small Biz Doctor. If you would like to know how you could be interviewed on my show, please give me a call at 
910-863-1797. That's 910-863-1797. Because after all, it's time for you and your company to be heard. This is Anne-Marie Ziegler, founder and CEO of Array Magazine. You are listening to On the Mic with Mike on ESPN Radio. Hello, business owners. Have you ever thought about how successful business owners like Oprah Winfrey, Steve Jobs, Michael Jordan, Warren Buffett, and more made it? What were some of the things they went through and still came out on top? Listen to my show every Tuesday from 6 to 7 p.m. and you will be able to hear directly from them. So have a pen, paper, and an open mind to grow your business. Did you know that over 60% of small businesses are subject to legal actions taken against owners and their companies? If you would like to protect your business by having direct access to one of the best law firms in North Carolina for only $39 per month or entire family protection for only $19.95 per month, visit www.taplegalapp.com. That's www.taplegalapp.com to protect yourself and your business today. Small business owners, do you want to know if you, your management and staff are on the same page and saying the same things to your customers or clients? After 20 years of small business coaching, I created a program called Employee Same Page Analysis that has either left business owners shocked, embarrassed, angry, or happy with the results. However, just so you know, only five companies scored over 50%. Give me a call today at 910-863-1797 to schedule your analysis because incorrect information can be destroying your business. The best advice to a small business owner, or for that matter, a large business owner, uh, is never stop thinking about how to delight your customer. Not to satisfy your customer, but to delight your customer. And when you wake up in the morning, start thinking about it. During the day, think about it. At night, think about it, and then dream about it. And no company's ever failed that that had millions of delighted customers. And you start with them and you get them one at a time. There's no substitute for hard work. The best time you're ever gonna have is when it starts out just you. And it'd be great if it grows into a wonderful, big, profitable company but you're never gonna be happier and more satisfied than you are in the first year or so of getting your business going because you do every single thing. You sweep up when everybody goes home, you're the first one in, you plug in the coffee pot so when your people come in, they have hot coffee and can get straight to work. Um, You work through lunch, set an example for them, but there's no substitute for hard work. People say luck, yes, but the harder you work, the luckier you get. My advice to a a small business owner or any entrepreneur would be not to be discouraged if the business you end up with is not the one you started out uh, to, to pursue. Because so often you encounter difficulties, you encounter failures, and the important piece is to learn from each of those very quickly and to pivot and to move on to the idea that works. Of course you have to be close to your products, close to your customers, and think about them. That's the most important, but don't forget to think about your business, what your plans are, what you want to do next, how to take your business to the next level. Again, think about being in your business, but think about your business as well. My best advice is to really work hard to clarify what your purpose is and uh, be able to articulate that, be able to communicate it uh, in a simple sentence. And the reason that's important is as you bring people into your company, Um, I think the most important question you ask them is, why are you here? Why do you want to join this company? And if you hear that purpose back, if you hear that passion around that purpose, it makes everything a whole lot easier. Any skill can be learned and taught, uh, but passion cannot. Being an entrepreneur can be a roller coaster ride at times. You will have great days, you will have 
not so great days. You may even from time to time have an awful day. You've got to stay focused and stay level-headed and keep your feet on the ground. Companies that uh, do well at some level, even though it may not be written down on a piece of paper, need to have kind of a clear strategy of why they're different, why they're adding value, why they're producing something special that customers need and that they're not getting now. So I, I think if there's a clear sense of strategy and you can get all the people aligned around that, then you get a lot more power than if you're just scrambling and working harder and harder uh, and, and, and without, without that clear direction. So that, that's my one piece of advice. This is Elaine Murray, independent business owner with Good Life USA. You are listening to On the Mic with Mike, the small biz doctor on ESPN. Hi, this is Abby Ortiz. I'm the owner of A1 Supply, and you are listening to On the Mic with Mike, the small business doctor on ESPN Radio. Hey, this is Mike, the Small Biz Doctor. If you would like to know how you could be interviewed on my show, please give me a call at 910-863-1797. That's 910-863-1797. Because after all, it's time for you and your company to be heard. This is John Jansen from The Cage. You can hear me weekdays from 5 to 6 here on Sports Radio 100.1 WFAY. Right now, you are listening to On the Mic with Mike, the small biz doctor on ESPN Radio. Hello, business owners. Have you ever thought about how successful business owners like Oprah Winfrey, Steve Jobs, Michael Jordan, Warren Buffett, and more made it? What were some of the things they went through and still came out on top? Listen to my show every Tuesday from 6 to 7 p.m. and you will be able to hear directly from them. So have a pen, paper, and an open mind to grow your business. Five morning rituals to keep you productive all day long. Most of us work long hours, 40, 50, or even 60 hours each week. But chances are we're only churning out high quality work a portion of each day. There are five practical steps to incorporate into any morning routine to maintain productivity all day long. One, seven minutes of exercise. Seven minutes is short enough that it won't impact the rest of your morning, but long enough to shake off sluggishness. Two, start your day out green. Healthy juicing is cheap and easy and requires less time in the morning than toasting a bagel and slathering it with cream cheese and is much healthier for you. Three, Pick three wins for the day. While you're waiting for that smoothie, decide on three priorities for the next 12 hours that when accomplished will feel like the day was a success. Not every day will be an epic win, but strategizing in this way will help move the ball forward. Four, turn to-do lists into time-bound effective project lists. For each of the big things on your list, block off the amount of time on your calendar and then add 33% more time just to be sure. If a project is multi-day or has dependencies, break it up into digestible chunks. This simple method will help hold you accountable and help you refocus on the tasks you prioritized when you do get distracted. Too often, we let one distraction steamroll an entire morning. 5. Power up after lunch. Take the 15 minutes right after lunch to refocus on the day. Get away from your computer. Think about how the list you created in the morning is shaping up and determine what you have on tap for the rest of the day. You'll find that these 15 minutes help you identify what's causing distractions and will help you discover a rhythm to be productive all day long. Hey everyone, it looks like we have come to the end of our show today. But remember that my goal is to force you to become a better business owner than you were yesterday. If you would like to be interviewed or possibly air your commercials during my show, please contact me at 910-863-1797. That's 863-1797. I want to leave this with you. You have something special. The world is waiting. There are customers that are waiting for your services, for your product, for your ideas, for your skills, for your expertise. It's time for you to show up. Absolutely. 
Stand up for your dream. Stand up for your business. Make it happen. This is Mrs. Mamie Brown's baby boy. You've got greatness within you. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it.